Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm just making a quick video right now because I'm I'm barely realizing or barely found out right now that our that individual EDP four four five is quite famous. He has like one point four million subscribers. I don't know how how that he became that famous, but um, he has a lot of subscribers. And when you have that much subscribers, one million, he probably he probably has enough to live on his own. You could tell he's a he's a fucking a very lazy individual. <clears throat> he he easily weights like three hundred, four hundred pounds. So I know he probably doesn't work. I know he lives off the government or YouTube or something. But that's the point. The point is that um that um that um he got caught trying to meet with a thirteen year old boy or girl. I think it was a girl. So yeah. On his last video he was actually he uploaded like a week ago and he's eating a pizza. And while he's eating this pizza he makes he makes racist remarks about a Hispanic person that made a comment that triggered him and he made a horchata joke a Mexican joke and then you know people think it's funny and um a lot of the times you know people get away from from making jokes to Mexican people and Asian people but as soon as somebody says something about black people in a joke term or white people Everybody gets triggered. The whole media, the whole universe turns upside down. You can't, you can't say nothing about black people or white people. You know, the only people that can are could be victims of a joke that our society lets them. It's Asians or Mexicans. That's why all these um, comedians, comedians. Always are always uh, emphasizing Mexican jokes because they are allowed to, and also because Mexican people can take it, but black people can't take it. You know, we know from history and from television and the media that black people can't take a joke, but they can be as racist as they want because the American media bless them. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. The point of this video is that um, I'm trying to get the vaccine. Well, not trying to get a vaccine, but I'm not sure if I should get it. Um, the other day I was looking up at, I was trying to get Pfizer vaccine, but um, I couldn't find any, any uh, hospitals or any place that could, 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 um, has a availability for me to get an appointment. I couldn't get an appointment for Pfizer. So my next choice is Moderna. Oh, what's the name of it? Moderna. But I heard that the Pfizer is the best one. Even my parents say that they took Pfizer and they said they felt fine. But I'm hearing a lot from individuals on Instagram and Facebook that, that, um, the vaccines are are made out of fetuses and they and then we're like experiments for the vaccine <laughs> basically the people who are taking the vaccine are like test dummies I'm, I'm not sure what does it if the vaccines have fetuses in them or are or something and then what happens if a person takes them takes it does a person um be, i know it, the immune system increases it enhances but it also i have this theory that the vaccine decreases lifespan because i don't believe that the government has ever care about the population i feel like this is the, the whole pandemic is is here for a reason. It's either an economic one 
a depopulation one or something now um, more than a million people have probably died so depopulation has been successful the economic recession that we had where you know banks lost money and increased money and some some and some some banks probably made millions billions there's a lot of banks and a lot of stock market market markets that uh, became billionaires during this pandemic so you would be surprised you would be surprised how powerful these these um, these people individuals that own stock markets that are bankers that are connected to the politicians how powerful these individuals are even in the case of the um, the 9-11 uh, the insurance the insurance that um, held the, the two buildings they took out quite a lot of insurance insurances for those two buildings and they made of billions of dollars well I'm assuming they made millions of dollars but you know I'm not really sure in that case but I heard that um, an insurance firm took out um took out um billions of of uh of 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 a case for the those two buildings and after they collapse they made billions but so the point of this video is that um that i'm trying to say is that i'm not sure if i should take moderna or pfizer or just keep holding out just keep holding it out now my college is still in lockdown those assholes are still keeping college locked down after a year a year and, and a month now so i basically have wasted a whole year of not going to school because the school is scared that the people might get sick so our freedom was taken away from us our education was taken away away from us and we have to wear masks now and now even our education was taken away from us so now is either wait i'm just gonna wait it out i don't think i'm gonna take any anything I'm, unless my school requires me to take it then i'll just go ahead and take moderna because i have no choice i literally have no choice I mean, I have no choice. If I can't go to school, then I might as well just be in my room for another 10 years. I have no choice but to take it and try to go to college and try to pass the class that I need to get my diploma. But other than that, I have no choice but to take it. And since Pfizer is the one that I want to take, but I probably can't take it because there's few in, qual in quantity. I'm probably gonna take Moderna. Some guy on Instagram suggested that I should take Johnson Johnson, and and I was like, that's like the worst one. And he's like, and he replied, with that's the what the gov that's what the government wants you to think or the people, but it, it has blood blood clots. Anyway, my phone is about to die in ten seconds. So yeah, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take it if I have to. But I don't want to. Alright, goodbye. Bye.